All right, you guys, today we're gonna take a look how to make this shading effect made out of zigzag here in Illustrator. So there's a special technique I saw a while ago on Instagram. Now this won't work in all the scenarios, but this is how you can do it. Let's go and select the pen tool and I'm gonna go and swap it to stroke and I'm gonna create a square, basically the shape where I want to create this effect. After you connected the pads, make sure to swap it from stroke to fill. So I'm gonna swap it, make sure that you don't have anything on the stroke, click on the stroke, click on the none, and click on the fill, so it's gonna be on the top. Now we're gonna go to the effect, let's go to stylize, and select scribble. And here let's go to the settings and select zigzag. As you can see, the stroke is too thick, so we're gonna go to the stroke width, and I'm gonna decrease it one. Actually, I'm gonna go under one, I'm gonna go with 0.3, and you also can go to the spacing and decrease it. Now this is going to make the lines more dense. I'm gonna test out with this, click OK. And as you can see, we've got a bounding box going on. So let's go to the object, expand appearance, and I'm gonna go to the pen tool, long click, and I'm gonna select the delete anchor point tool. And I'm gonna go and remove some of these anchor points and here as well. And I'm gonna go and select the normal pen tool and I'm gonna connect this path with this one right here and I'm gonna swap it from stroke to fill and as you can see I also got another invisible shape here I'm gonna right click on arrange bring to front so it's gonna hide the imperfections of these spikes you also can change up the angles I'm gonna double click on the spikes let's select the direct selection tool and I'm gonna select the edges press and hold shift select them all and I'm just gonna drag it like that by the way you also can do this from the effect I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna select the pen tool and create one right here. Let's go to the effects, stylize, scribble. Here I'm gonna decrease the spacing and check this out, here you can change up the angle. So I'm gonna go upwards a little bit like this. 11, click OK, object, expand appearance, and I'm gonna repeat the same steps and swap it from stroke to fill. Now, unfortunately here where the lines are curving nicely, you cannot do shadings made of spikes, which are basically made from straight lines, you're also gonna need to bend them. So instead of this, I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna go and do the first spike from zero. I'm gonna make it manually like this. And I'm gonna select it, press and hold Alt, drag it down. I'm gonna go somewhere here, press and hold Shift, select the top spike as well go to the object, blend, and click on make. Let's go and double click on the blend tool, and I'm gonna go and select specified steps, increase the numbers, and click OK. I also can manipulate the spine, I'm gonna go and select the direct selection tool, click on the path of the spine at the top for example, and I'm gonna go to the corner, make it rounded, and check this out, I'm gonna bring it in, and I'm gonna select the bottom part of the spine, I'm also gonna go to the corner, make it rounded, something like this, and I'm gonna increase the numbers as well, and this is going to make a different effect, I'm gonna select the pen tool, make another shape on the top, and I'm gonna select it like this, I'm gonna press and hold shift, also select the spikes, right click, and select make clipping mask. So it is going to look something like this. Now this is way more natural like the previous one. So there's like multiple techniques to it. Feel free to explore the ones you like most. And this was it. Thanks for watching.